So another little practice routine video here that's going to really help you control around the pink spot and just help you control of the white in general. So we've got the pink on the spot and then we've got a red either side of the pink here. I've made a little mark on the table where both of these reds go so that I can keep re-spotting the reds each time in the same positions. And we're going to try and go red, pink, red, pink and keep looping like that and try and make the biggest break that you possibly can. Right, so you can start off with this exercise with the white anywhere you like and you've got your two marks on the table so that you can put the reds back in the same position each time and then what I think you'll quickly find in this exercise is that it's very easy to over screw the white very slightly and then you're leaving yourself awkward on the pink or it's also easy to slightly underdo the screw shot and then you've got a thin cut on the pink into the corner. So this routine will quickly get you much better white ball control and it's also really good for improving your cue control overall. So let's play the first few shots and have a look at this routine. So I've left myself a little tiny angle on the pink. You don't really want to leave the white ball straight on the pink. If you've got a tiny angle where you can just play a little stun back up into the middle for choice of both reds, that's absolutely perfect then. I think what you'll quickly find in this routine as well is that this red is the awkward one for right-handed players. We find that a little bit more difficult to reach. For left-handed players, this one is the one that's a little bit difficult to reach in terms of sometimes we have to stretch slightly to get at that red. So a little gentle screw up again. So I've left myself on both reds here. And just to highlight the point here, you'll see that it looks as though I'm perfectly on this red here, but actually, as a right-handed player, I can't reach that red at all now. So I'm going to take the other one, which is perfect for right-handed players. So a little gentle screw again. So I just left myself that tiny little low angle on the pink again. Once again, just a little screw. And this time I've left myself on the other red where in a position where I should just be able to reach it now just about. So I've got slightly too much angle to just play just a screw shot without using the cushion. I'm coming a bit too close to the side cushion here, so I'm going to go off the cushion for the pink into the opposite corner. So I'm nicely on the pink again, just that little tiny low angle, and I can just play little screw again up for both reds. So nicely on the reds again here. Little tiny screw back on this red now for the pink again. And you'll quickly get used to as you do this exercise how important it is to keep the white ball under really close control. If you, like I say, if you over screw the white very, very slightly, Straight away you're running out of position, the white's doing lots of miles around the table and it just makes the routine all a little bit messy. So again, got choice of both reds here. This one I can just about reach this time, I can just screw it enough to hold it for the pink. And again, I've just left that little tiny low angle on the pink for another little gentle screw up. Then I'm perfectly on the red to the bottom left here. Little screw again. And you can see here now, I'm just trying to keep the white under perfect control and it would be easy if I overscrewed to just lose the white. So you can carry on with this routine right down your brakes.
keep going and just see how far you can get and how big of a break you can make. So hopefully you've got some tips then for trying to complete this practice routine. I think you'll quickly find that this routine is not as easy as it might look. So at first, you might think that it's quite easy to just keep potting these two reds each side of the pink and that none of the pots are difficult, but managing to control this white ball perfectly and keep perfect control and keep getting just the right angles on each ball does require lots of practice. So if you enjoyed this video, please give the video a like. If you want to see more practice routine videos just like this one, please subscribe to the channel. And you can also now support the videos that I'm doing on YouTube, on Patreon. So if you want to support me and help me develop a little bit more time to filming and editing videos, then the link for that is in the description below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.